Welcome to this Windows 10 channel and this is a quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10. This is build 15.019 available uh, since yesterday, Friday, January 27th. A uh, unusual Friday release, doesn't happen very often. So what's new in this build? There are a few things and uh, it's kind of interesting to see what's in here. The biggest feature uh, of this new build is in the settings and you'll see it right here is the now gaming mode that you see here. So in the settings you now have gaming and it says game bar, DVR, broadcasting, game mode. If you click here you will have all sorts of information including uh, you know switches to record game clips and stuff like that. With the game bar you now have game DVR available if your PC can handle it, so you need a PC that is powerful enough to have this work. You have broadcasting, you have now the beam services that you can actually broadcast your gaming with the built-in beam streaming, which is pretty cool and the quickest way to stream gameplay. So it's part of this insider preview and it's um, you know something that you need to have, your PC needs to be uh, powerful enough to do this uh, which is not the case of this um, computer here. And finally, game mode is now available. So when you actually run a game, <coughs> you can actually get the game bar by uh, simply pressing the Windows key and the letter G. The game bar will appear and from there you can actually start game mode if you want. And that will improve apparently the um, gameplay, the frame rates, stuff like that because it actually makes the game the primary process. So it should actually give it all that it needs to have better frame rates and better gameplay apparently. I'm gonna try to test this but I don't have a suitable gaming PC here so I don't know if the tests that I'll do are gonna be valid but I will try to test it and come back with another video on this for sure. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, other things that might be interesting to note is that uh, on some PCs, not everybody in the settings, uh, we had um, of course the uh, mixed reality that can be here for some or is not there for others. It depends on your uh, PC but uh, this is something that's available here. But the main feature is really gaming right now. Gaming is the number one thing. So every time you play a game, you just uh, hold the Windows key, press the letter G to get the game bar. You can do pretty much everything you want in that gaming mode. So it's pretty interesting. Also, there's full screen support that are added to different games and the game bar that are by default. So there's a list of games from Battlefield, ba Battlefield 3 to Warfare, uh, Warface and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty interesting there. So lots of gaming stuff in here and we're going to try to check out the gaming stuff a little bit here. Microsoft Edge. We were talking last week that Microsoft Edge can now actually um, read or get EPUBs. EPUBs are the basically books because in the Windows Store we talked about the fact that there were some books available. Well now Microsoft Edge can actually um, read books aloud. So that means that if you have an ebook open on the top in the bar there's on the right side a uh, little something that will say hey you can uh, do you want me to read this book and it will of course uh, apparently be read aloud uh, to you so uh, it is supported in pretty a lot of languages by the way so it all depends on um, on on what you uh, uh, what language, but uh, it's, there's, there's already very big support in the languages for this. Uh, Microsoft Edge now will display full color updated emojis uh, because before they were like black and white, very basic emojis. Now they're really nice colorful emojis that you will have. Uh, when you have what's called the out of box experience and let's uh, just go to the NeoWin website to uh, give you an idea because I'm going to actually show you what this, um, this might look like in the, um, in the out of box experience in Windows 10. So uh, what we have 
for a second. Okay, let's go here, go down. Now, the out-of-box experience when you install um, in your PC is very interesting. So let's look at, um, so by the way, this is the list of the games that are um, available right now in this, uh, in this um, full screen game mode. So out of box experience, there's, a, there's some new screens that if you are not using the express settings at uh, setup that are giving you choose privacy settings for the device, uh, who's going to use your PC. Now you have, of course, other uh, settings here. Um, other little things that are interesting. So the um, you know they're still tweaking the setup, which is the out of box experience uh, in the uh, making this really you know um, more easier. Let's say to uh, try to uh, get this working from the start. And it's it's very interesting. It's like I always said. There you know Windows 10 has already been the easiest Windows 10 to install on a PC for you know people that are not very uh, techy but uh, they're improving this even more so it's getting easier and easier to do so uh, and i think at some point a lot of uh, of people that will have um, some uh, really nice um, and easy way to install windows there's also a new wi-fi experience when you try to connect when you're in the out-of-box experience the wi-fi uh, is is easier it's different in the way that it asks you to uh, make your connections and stuff so uh, all of that pretty interesting and uh, lots of improvements on the way that they do um, help you try to connect to um, everything on your pc okay also now uh blue light we were talking about blue light uh last time they've changed the name and I think that's a good thing because pretty much nobody was uh, knew what blue light was. Now they call it night life. Night light is you can actually turn it on. Here's going to say off till 4:56 p.m. Uh, you can of course go into night light settings, and here you go, color temperature at night, uh, what time sunset to sunrise, which is interesting. That's also something that's added, or you can set your own hours, and uh, basically that changes the color of your screen uh, in order for you to maybe have a better night's sleep because of this. Uh, also there, what um, other uh, interesting things, they've been uh, fixed issues by right clicking the night light quick actions from the action center, um, it, they have actually um, improved upon. So when you go here and you have the night light available, uh, you can now actually right click on Nightlight and go to the settings for Nightlight directly, which is something new that they've added. Uh, before there was just a button. Uh, resizing your virtual machine connection in Hyper-V. Now you can quickly resize this, which was not the, uh, the uh, interesting thing about that. Uh, you could not do it easily. Uh, store app in Game Download Progress in Action Center. So now when you actually go and uh, download an app from the Windows Store. Now before, of course, you had the downloading going through the Windows Store. So you had to check your Windows Store app if you wanted to see where the download progress was. Now, in the Action Center, you are going to see the progress of the downloaded apps available here in the Action Center. So basically, this will show up in here, everything that's being updated at the time of uh, trying it out. So that's pretty interesting. Um, there's improved discovery for troubleshooters. Troubleshooters can find and fix many common problems for you. So there's um, really an ongoing effort to convert your control panel into settings. And so there's a troubleshooting section now in your settings. So before you had to go in the control panel, it was the only place to get the troubleshooting stuff. Now you've got uh, all sorts of uh, help here to troubleshoot printers and internet connections, audio, uh, Windows Update, um, find and fix other products. Here you see blue screen, Bluetooth, hardware, uh, home groups, all sorts of things. 
so this is, of course, in an effort to bring uh, most of what is in the control panel into the settings panel, slowly working towards that. So this is a quick look at all the different options, but we will be doing more videos because I think now there's so many options, so many things to look at and try that it's worth it to do uh, separate videos of unique, uh, unique features of the Insider Build, uh, gaming and all of that. So I um, hope you enjoy, hope you have this new build. It's in the fast ring. Last things that I got to say about it, it installed flawlessly on my machines. Like I said, I did have in one of my machines the uh, initializing that took a long time, but it finally got through. No errors, no blue screens when I installed. And uh, pretty stable. Two machines right now running this build, 15019. This one here that you see on the bottom right, which is the uh, build for um, the pro version and on my uh, 50 inch tv i've got the other one running the home version and both have no crashes and no problems at all doesn't mean there's no problems look at another my next video for what's good what's bad what's wrong and what's fixed in this build you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up hope you enjoyed my quick review and it's not over lots of little videos coming up with different options in this build. Hope you enjoy my videos.